it's here, finally here, the Novich SSR4. I was waiting on this a bit, thanks to our friends at FedEx for various reasons. But hey, it's here now, and at least it's not severely damaged, so let's get right into the unboxing. So, getting right into this unboxing here, we're gonna go ahead and open it up, and find the general information startup guide given by Novich and his crew to you. Uh, there's no actual, like, disassembly, mostly just general safety information that you can see there. Instead, you have to use the QR code. Now, tossing that aside and removing the foam cover, you will find the SSR-4 along with its magazine. Somewhere in the packaging, there will also be a black flash hider adapter, which you can put on there on a counterclockwise thread. Now, getting a more detailed look inside the box, you will find your mid-cap magazine. The mid-cap magazine is pretty sturdy, doesn't creak, doesn't bend, overall pretty solid, it doesn't feel like it'll break if you drop it. You will also find your SSR-4. And your cleaning and unjamming rod. It's pretty standard, nothing to write home about, just it's an unjamming rod. And that about does it for the box. So, getting right into the gun, and man do I have to say how good looking this thing is. I mean really. So, going up to the front here, you will find your 14mm counterclockwise thread, as well as it should come with a flash hider included, and now you can all watch me struggle for a little bit longer than I'm happy to admit to just put it on. So, moving on to the rest of it, it has your standard mounting systems that are pretty common on all forms of airsoft replicas to mount your whatever, your sights, your anal prober, whatever it is you find. The grip is nice and sturdy, and fire select feels pretty sturdy as well. It doesn't feel like it'll not fire or have any sort of problem with that. Strangely though, the mag seems to get, the mag release I mean, I'm sorry, uh, appears to get stuck, which is very strange, I don't know what causes that, could just be a break-in thing though, so, yeah. Uh, it has your QD sling points, which are really nice, um, yeah. Uh, your hop-up is uh, exposed by uh, pulling the rack back, and there's your hop-up. Pretty standard stuff there. So, to access your battery compartment, you pull down on that tab there, and it pulls right off. I will have to say, it is quite a cramped battery compartment, and you are not able to fit all of much in there. So, do keep that in mind, that you will not be able to fit very big batteries in there. Now, let's get it out for the shoot test, where you can really do see, compared to the battery that is recommended for it, just how small and tight the compartment is. So, on a slightly windy day, it is very more than capable to fire quite a good distance and honestly didn't impress me didn't have any feeding problems it also has pre-cocking which i don't demonstrate here though full auto yes again quite a decent fire rate unfortunately i do not have anything to chrono it but it still is a pretty impressive fire rate seeming So, in terms of all that, the shooting kind of impressed me. It fed really well, I had no real problems, and the semi-automatic firing is really neat how it's able to fire and cycle a new BB. So, my final thoughts. Well, it's a really nice gun. Aside from the super small battery compartment, other than that, there's nothing to really gripe about. It's pretty solid, doesn't creak, feels like it should feel, and there's just nothing to complain about. Super sleek, super stylish, definitely ought to catch some eyes out on the field, and all in all, I could not recommend this more. I hope to get some gameplay soon, so stick tuned for that, and thank you all for watching, and hope you all like and subscribe. Hi there, Tech Talk here. I just thought I'd drop in to give you guys a final message. I'd like to thank you for coming by and supporting the channel. This is my first upload, so sorry for any shoddy quality, which I can only imagine is quite rampant. Uh...
I hope to be doing some more variating and hopefully better quality videos soon. So if you did somewhat enjoy this somehow, I don't really know how. It wasn't that good, I gotta be honest with you. Um, then feel free to like and subscribe and, you know, stay tuned for some other stuff. Alright, Tech Dog out.